Shimaiji TA fans, it's a Los Santos Tuners bit of a snippet of information here. We are in our auto shop, and as you can see on the left hand side, our staff have found sourced a vehicle. So we're going to talk about some import export vehicle kind of business. Um, also, of note, is you can store your cars in this carriage and you can update them. We'll see that later. So, who's about it then? Do like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Um, but first, there's a, a row of checklists on your right hand side. You need to tick off each one before you can sell it. So, what I don't know here is the respray colour is on the bottom by some brown, but I'm going to paint it pink, which is wrong. So I will speed it up um, because it gets uh, a bit dull, you get the idea. And this is like a Jeep Cherokee as well, isn't it? It's uh, not going to be the fastest car out there. I'm going to be selling it in an open session, so you have a couple of options. So first we upgrade it, and then you have the options for selling it. If you have invested in staff, as in that one where you could buy one or two staff, they can sell it for you. Um, but if you don't have the staff like me, then you'll have to sell it yourself. You have to take a drive and take a risk on this car of losing it. But if you get your staff to sell it for you, they will crash it and things. So you'll lose money off the retail value and you won't earn a great deal of money. But the idea is we're not going to earn a great deal of money on the sales anyway on either of these. These are just for kind of fun value. If you really want to be making money, then I would still recommend getting the uh, import export vehicle warehouse. That is the best way to make money in this style of selling vehicles. Obviously, the KO Perry equals the best way of making the monies. So we just have a drop-off just about a mile away, so it's not very far at all. Quite easy, but there were, there were some uh, griefers in, in this session, and so I took a risk on it because I forgot that I hadn't bought the staff. Um, I was going to get the staff to do it, um, but 368 grand for staff wasn't worth it really. And I still don't think it is, because I doubt I'll be doing many of these, um, because you have, to, you, you have to invest $35,000 to sell the car to begin with. Ridiculous, yeah, because of all the upgrades. And then you will only get uh, a small portion when you finally deliver it. Um, so here we are, Deliveroo at our door, smash its back doors in. Nice and easy, some ungrateful guy getting the car there. And it's slow as well, so I did upgrade it. I did tune it above what the customer wanted to speed it up a bit. So here we are, $60,000. So yeah, 35 investments or 25 payouts total. So it's not really, <laughs> the summary's right there, it's not really going to make you a lot of money. So let's get the freak out of here and let's try something else then. Um, over in the workshop, um, not only can you store your vehicles there, but you can also snack up, um, which I hadn't realized earlier, but over in this corner next to the arcade machines is a bowl of snacks. Um, if you're on PlayStation, I think you can grab all snacks, but you can just snack up as no as you would normally here. I'm not sure if, if there is a grab all button for PC. Obviously, we are the paupers of the GTA world. So, yeah, um, that is how you snack up. Next, we're going to have a look at the other vehicle um, sourcing missions. So there's two ways that they those vehicles arrive automatically on this on this board, this white board, black board, is a list of vehicles. So the Infernus and the um, Comet are vehicles you can get off the street. The other ones are specialist ones. So we need to look for a blue dot. Um, so here I am. I'm, I'm driving in my own Comet, which has made the Comet spawn um, for a start, and I'm also in the posh end of town. So I've robbed that Comet. But for the other ones, you can get, you look for a blue dot on the map, basically. Um, let's see now. We're, we're going to drop it off over by the docks. So that yellow symbol there is where we are going. It doesn't show initially. I don't know if that's a lag or what. Oh, and get in the left-hand lane to drive on the wrong side of the road to speed things up. That is a risky manoeuvre because computer characters could drive into you. But I'm still doing it anyway. What the hell? Why not? And we're going to make a cool 20,000 on this because we have not had a single bump de bump at all because I'm that good a driver. I'm used to the import export vehicle warehouse, so I've done this, this kind of thing a million times. But again, you make more money off the import export for less risk. Actually, less risk than the other one, not less risk. This is no risk, really, is it? It's free. If you can find the vehicle in the first place, it's a time um, thing on that job. So that has completed the exotic exports, um, the exotic exports, that's what it's called for fans of that kind of thing. So have a try, see how you like it, but it's not going to be a way of making great deals of cash. So finally, we're going to show you the how you can modify your vehicles. Um, just get in it and press G, is that Q? Press Q, not G. Can't read. 
get some spectacles, get to spec savers. Not advertising spec savers are rubbish. Right, first off, um, there are a few new things about the old uh, upgrades. Finally, they've added new wheels for this um, Los Santos tuners update. So you've got high-end muscle, but we've got the track ones. So those are the new ones, uh, stock wheels. What am I looking at here? Oh, get on the track wheels. There we go. Right, so there's lots of nice looking wheels um, to be added, which a lot of people were complaining about the lack of updates since the launch um, back in a million years ago. Um, but the best ones are behind the, um, an RP barrier. So you'll need to do more races at Los Santos Tuners to get those. So there they are, 22 unlock for that, 67. It goes up to 90, so something ridiculous. So yeah, I hope that's been helpful. Do like and subscribe for that. And give me some comments on your thoughts on the new wheels and this new uh, auto shop. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.